And we welcome Sam Horn, who played for the Orioles in 1990, 91, and 92. Sam, appreciate you stopping by. Oh, I'm happy to be here. It looks good out here. I remember when the, fir the park first opened. And uh, I scored the first run. It still looks the good same way. <laughs> All you want to do is hit the warehouse, right? <laughs> uh, it was tough to hit it from where I was sitting, but uh, <laughs> batting practice was a whole nother story. <laughs> Sam, I remember the first game against Kansas City out in Kansas City when your opening day of the season was maybe delayed a couple days or something like that. You had, like, what, about nine RBIs in that game? Uh, maybe six or seven. Uh, it was one of my best games, of course. My mother nice. had just had a stroke, and uh, the Orioles brought me up. Uh, it was opening day 1990, so I had a really good day. I remember visiting the waterfall a couple of times. <laughs> Sammy, you know, you um, you played on some pretty good ball clubs here early on. Here you had Sutcliffe in your starting rotation. You guys really, you know, had an opportunity to put it all together and win there. How You watch the Orioles, I'm sure. How do you compare those teams? What do you see about the team you played on and the teams that you're watching now with the Orioles? I would probably say that the uh, the defense here is definitely a lot better. Uh, yeah. They got a, you know, speedy outfield. Uh, for the most part, the, the pitching is really good, but the guys now are so much bigger. And although you guys have a couple of your best hitters out of the lineup, you're still in first place, so you can't ask for much more than that. <laughs> Sam, you were first round pick of the Boston Red Sox uh, many, many years ago, back in 82. How about uh, the fact that they, a lot of people thought you were going to be the next Mo Vaughn? Is that correct? Once again, uh, you know, I could have been Mo Vaughn, but it's hard to be anybody when you're sitting on that bench. But I am happy and fortunate for the opportunities I got. Once again, with the Orioles, they gave me a, a good shot to play. And the Red Sox, of course, made me their number one pick. So I had some years to play, but still, overall, they didn't really get a lot of opportunity. But, but you had your best years. Here, you hit 42 home runs for the Orioles. I, I did. And, um, you yeah, know, where Glenn, were you sitting Glenn on Davis. the bench when you hit 42 home runs? you got to well, be kidding Well, that's me. the point. I did really well. I thought the next year that I would be playing. But Glenn Davis, if you remember, got yeah. injured that year. So... When in doubt, put a, a guy aging at uh, the DH spot. So for me, uh, they're looking at a little B-roll right there. I was in good shape then. I wasn't one of those aging guys, but I love to hit. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Speaking about hitting, you know, you have an opportunity to pass on a lot of your experiences to young people now. You're working um, in a program where you can help young players uh, all over the country and your, your area. Well, I work at... Uh, the Sports Performance Center, which is at Mass General up in Boston. So it's one of the top two um, hospitals. You go back and forth with John Hopkins all at a time. So we have an opportunity to kind of work with kids. We do what you see on uh, ESPN. We do kind of like sports science. So we have an opportunity to work with kids, build uh, video resumes, stuff like that for college and whoever's going to the next level. Many, many years ago, I used to do the scores downstairs next to the dugout there for HTS. I remember a little pie incident with you and me. Well, I wish they had that because I was going to drop another pie on you today, but you're looking so good, Tom. Tom is looking really good, so I told him he must be living a good life because he's looking really good. Did this you get a chance working. to talk to Adam Jones while you were down there? I do. That's Because he boy. brought the I, pie I, back. He yes, brought it back. I, I yeah. love him. We're, we're from San Diego, so we were talking during batting practice. You know, one of the things they don't have out here is like roll tacos. We were talking about taco shops. So, you know, things like that, you know, back from the neighborhood. Adam Jones, of course, is uh, one of the bright stars here in the, yeah. in the major league. So I really look forward to seeing him for a long time, and he's such a great guy. Sam, how much do you follow the Orioles right now? Uh, of course, they're in first place, so of course you follow baseball as a whole. I do anyway. Uh, I look at all of the teams. I have, you know, favorite players on each team, so I go through Major League Baseball, National League, American League, and just pick guys that I like that I think represent the game and are doing a great job right now. Well, Sam, we appreciate you stopping by. Good to chat with you. All right. <laughs> well, I'm happy to be here once again. You guys are looking great. The Orioles are doing a good job, and for all of you uh, Baltimore <laughs> Orioles fans out there, I hope you good luck the rest of the way. Sam Horn, who played for the Orioles 1990 through 1992 and hit 42 career home runs for the Birds. That's Sam Horn. We thank him.